Alright family, we are at Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. The park built for a legend and all legends. So they have a memorial organized just like this. And this one of those beautiful solidarity days. You got the classic shirts on and every single last one of them have been different. All these different designs. As I beg you don't try. And that's how we're rolling family. We're rolling on the VIP bus which has all business class seats. You know? I saw a roll in style. That's what you can afford when you put your money together as a group. I'm talking about putting money together and embodying corporate economics and nation building. Let's, let's, let's come to that place. I know you're not good at face. So yes, greetings, my brother. Greetings. <laughs> um, yeah, unless you want to suffocate while talking. <laughs> but, I don't want you to suffocate. <laughs> but trust me. Uh, okay. We, uh, we, won't a a we won't give you no Rona. We won't give you no Rona. For the Africans, and um, we thank God so much for bringing us here. Here we find ourselves at the Kwame Nkoma Memorial Park, and my brother over here is going to introduce himself. He's the curator over here. And I'm so happy having him. So that's going to tell us everything about this place. So, sir, you are in your hands. Okay. So, we normally say Aquaba. Aquaba. Yeah. 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 Which is yeah. welcome. Yeah. My English name is Edward. But I prefer to be called Kofi. K O F I. Because I was born on a Friday as a male. This is a memorial for the first president of Ghana. That's Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah. And also Kwame because he was born on a Saturday as a male. The reason why we have the monument on this particular grounds is that during our colonial time, this was where the British used to play polo sports. So it was called the Old Polo Grounds and meant for only British. Natives or locals were not allowed to come here. So eventually, Dr. Nkrumah also chose the same place, symbolically, to deliver his independence speech. He actually meant to spite the British. So that's the importance of this monument to the history of Ghana. And as part of our tour, we're going to visit the museum where we have his pictures and some of his personal items. Um, there's also a mausoleum where he was eventually laid to rest. And there's also his statue and other ones on that side. So we're gonna set a tour around his statue and then end up in the VIP lounge where we get to sign the visitor's book. So let's enjoy the experience. Please, you are allowed to ask all your questions and also allowed to take photographs except inside the museum but anywhere else we are free to take our shots so once again Aquaba yeah yeah okay let's come this way please yeah man <laughs> hey that's a similarity <laughs> They go family the black star. Because people are trying to swim, I don't know. Oh, there used to be water down here. Good question. You gonna ask the tour guy that? The water comes. Mr. Man, you gonna ask the tour guy that? That's a no, I guess. Little man. You're gonna ask the tour guy that question. It's a great question. Why is the water gone? What are you doing to your back? Remove, remove your phone. There you go.
Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it without water. Yes, family. Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. This is literally family, my 18th time coming to this park in 14 years and you know this is my 18th time here. The huh? first time I've seen the water. And the first time no water. Because very by middle of February, we're gonna have some renovation works. Like the whole black space is going to be shut down. That is why we were told to drain the place. For the yeah, my little boy had a question, but he didn't want okay. to ask. That was his question. Now we <laughs> went to the water. Well, he's uh, always seen the water every time. He <laughs> <laughs> so as we continue, the spot where Dr. Cromer's statue is erected was exactly where he stood and delivered his independence speech on the eve of 6 March, 1957. And at that time. Ghana was the first country south of the Sahara to get independence. So among the things he said on that day here was that, quote, the independence of Ghana would be meaningless unless it was linked with the total liberation of the African continent. And that it was time to prove to the whole world that given the same opportunity, the black man was also capable of managing his own affairs end of quote and among those who were in the audience listening to him make his speech was martin luther king jr oh yeah now he came when the woman delivered his independence speech that is pure bronze molded in italy and his posture means forward ever backwards never that is the political slogan of a party he formed which was called CPP, or Convention People's Party. Forward ever, backwards never. Now these other ones, let's call them the humblers. They are also expressing an aspect of Ghanaian traditional culture. In Ghana, especially in the South, when we have a festival or a big occasion and the chief or the king is coming, often some of his servants will lead him blow horns to announce his arrival. And similarly, when a prominent person dies here, traditionally, we also blow horns to announce the person's death. So symbolically, they are doing the same thing for him. But the only difference is that they blow the horns in real life while standing. But here they are kneeling because they are giving him honor or reverence. And when you count them to, there are seven of them on each side of the walkway. Um, to us, the number seven represents the completion of creation. That is seven days of the week. Unfortunately, you came when we had to drain the pond of the water because of an impending renovation work. But if it's filled, we have fountains flowing all over. It's very beautiful when we have the fountains on. Now, the blood of horns was um, standing, but here they are kneeling because they are giving him respect. And these are all made of concrete by Ghanaian student sculptors. So I think it's time for us to have probably our group picture and others before we can continue the tour in the mausoleum. Yes. All right, perfect family. Let's line up and get into these wonderful photos. Take as many pictures, share, like all that good stuff. Let's, let's use the stars. To, and you may really want to use it that we don't block your logo. Everybody tighten up. Brother Yao, get, you're taking the photos. Tallest in front, shortest at the back. Tallest in front. Shortest at the back. Let's get closer. Let's get closer, please. Closer, closer, closer. There you go, family. This. 